Hey, it's Mara from the AV Club, and I am here with John Langford and Four Lost Souls. Well, three of four, I guess. No, we, we are, are the Four Lost <laughs> Souls. Oh, you are the Four Lost Souls? Yeah. Okay. Like the four tops, there's four of us. <laughs> uh, how did you guys put, get the band together? Norbert Putnam, who's one of the original members of the Nor Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section, and he was Elvis's bass player and a big producer in Nashville in the 60s and 70s, asked me to go to Muscle Shoals to make an album because he thought I sung like a pirate. <laughs> which I do, but I didn't really fa fancy going down there doing my sea shanties. So <laughs> we, Tony and I had sung, Tony sung on what? How many records? I've encroached upon three of your records now <laughs> to date. <laughs> this is the fourth. Integral <laughs> to them. But, uh, and then we've been talking about doing something with Bethany as well, because I'd seen Tony and Bethany had sung with the Waco brothers, mm -hmm. and it was double the power and excitement. <laughs> so um, Bethany brought John in, because yeah. I needed someone to sort the songs out because they were pirate songs and we didn't want to do pirate songs. <laughs> How'd that process go? Muscle Shoals, obviously pretty neat. Yeah, it was incredibly <laughs> neat. It was three days after the election, so it was a little spooky to be uh. in a 400-person <laughs> town in Alabama. Um, but I love the South. I toured there and you know played there doing comedy down there a lot, and mm -hmm. it's always so different than where I choose to live in this country. So it was nice to be in this kind of little liberal enclave, this little bubble with all these musicians mm -hmm. and... It was just, it was very uh, welcoming, I felt. Well, I was going to ask, uh, I'll ask you, this is not related to your band at all. Um, we like bajillion dollar properties here. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, what is happening with that show? It's still like. Our network was canceled. Well, yeah. That never happened. Normally your show just gets canceled and you cry about it and Twitter's like, you're so mean for canceling house or whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> with this one, it was like the whole network was just like, no more. So. We're trying to find a home for it. Um, you guys have like a s how many seasons in the can? We have a fourth season fully edited and ready to go and not wow. just <laughs> not able to air it anywhere. So if anyone has a cable network they're yes. not using. If anyone, if you know, my good friend Rupert Murdoch is watching. I've got cable, you know. is that the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm We're owned by a cable <laughs> channel. Yeah, Sweet, so. we're making the connections now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll hit you up on Twitter and be like, hey, can we buy this from you? Yeah. And yeah. then I'll be like, yes, I burned CD copies. <laughs> Here you go. Well, we have these five questions we ask everybody that comes in. And one of them actually relates to something you just said. It's to describe Donald Trump in one word. In Leeds, you'd say a uh, doylem. <laughs> What's that? I was just an idiot. <laughs> but it's a a doylem? A doylem. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, kind of typical. I would just say typical. Okay. Is old white man one word? You can be. I'm because I'm one of them as well. That's frightening. <laughs> He's older than you. I know, but we're both old white men. Your hair is How better than his? How could we be so different? Mm. I'm so cool and he's such a doylem. <laughs> that sounds like your next song. Yes. <laughs> I'm so cool and he's such a doylem. <laughs> um, the second question we ask is the best advice you've ever gotten. Uh, the best advice I was ever given, uh, don't give up. I mean, Aww. you know, it's like, yeah. Who said that to you? <laughs> <laughs> Question three is what would be your last meal? Well, I want a margarita. Salt rocks? Salt rocks, yep. <laughs> Salt rocks. Not frozen. No. I'll get an onion bhaji to start and a chicken tikka. I'm sorry, what? With uh, two, a chana masala, a, a two nans, and a kingfisher from Raja's on Roundy Road. I love that. <laughs> I almost said I went to this restaurant every Friday night for years, and I al almost got to the point where I could say the usual. <laughs> but it never quite worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably go to London and go to Ottolenghi and have something from there. That's my last oh, meal. good choice. Mm -hmm. Would that mean you could escape from your cell to go to London? Yeah, I think so. Or sure. would they bring the meal to you? Oh, I m maybe they'd fly him to me, the uh, guy. <laughs> and they would make a meal for me in my cell. Uh -huh. mm. He's a good guy. Yo, Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mine's going to involve fried things. I think fried shrimp, French fries, mm -hmm. maybe some other sort of seafood. It's going to be it's going to be based around seafood. That's going to be the main protein. I like it. I know that much. I'll work on it. So you do, when it's your last meal, you don't have to worry about <laughs> yeah. putting then the pounds on. No, that's, that's when you eat like, yeah. that's when you want like, I want three desserts. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> oh, I should, I thought, can I change my <laughs> order then? That's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who's paying for it? Uh, the government. <laughs> oh, <laughs> government. Yeah. A lot of variables. I'm going to French Laundry. <laughs> also, it's your last meal. Who cares? Like they'll be trying to starve the beast, card. though, won't they? That's what they do: starve the beast. Uh, uh, question four is: Have you guys ever walked out of a movie? Yes. <sighs> what movie? Powder. <laughs> what? Wow. We thought it was boring. We went, we left, and we watched the end of Now and Then again. 
<laughs> okay. okay. To do Gabby thing. Hoffman is legit, but Powder is a classic. We did not enjoy it. I thought it was boring. We have to talk about this. I care about that white man. Have you tried it again? <laughs> he's not white. He's powder white, Bethany. No, I have not watched it again. <laughs> We're going to watch it again on this tour. I watched that. I walked out of Grown Ups. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's Remember a good one to walk out of. Oh, I was like, oh, all these com- comedians, all these greats. And then I was like, ooh, these greats are not doing great. Yeah, it's like Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, you're just like, You uh. went to a movie theater to see Grown Ups, though? <laughs> yeah, I was at the Logan Theater. Come on, girl, I'm not even going to red box that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> That was when I was like three bucks to the Logan, yeah. <laughs> it was a different time. I'm very sorry for my actions. I'm flying to Europe to go to a, a movie attending rehab, you know. <laughs> Lisa Bloom is advising me. Also have beer at the Logan, so. And the last question is, uh, what's your go-to karaoke pick? Mine is Easy Lover. Oh. Yeah, that's a very good one. Easy lover. No, she's an easy lover. Oh, no, I was thinking of Easy Loving. Oh. So sexy looking, yeah. that one. I like that one. <laughs> And uh, and if they have it, I like um, "Love Is the Drug" by Roxy Music. Oh. I thought it was "It's Not Unusual" by Tom Jones, but I went to a Vietnamese fisherman's karaoke bar just outside New Orleans. Uh-huh. It was all I thought it'd be like. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Really old Vietnamese fishermen, but they're not. They're all like nineteen and twenty. The Vietnamese fishermen. <laughs> And I thought, right, I'm going to show them I'll do. It's not unusual by Tom Jones, but apparently they've never heard of Tom Jones. <laughs> and so I did it, and it was just like. <laughs> lead balloon and then I sat there for a while and then somebody said do Charlie Rich so I did the most beautiful girl in the world by Charlie Rich then they all loved me and bought me whiskey (laughs) (laughs) to see the most beautiful girl in the world which is a record I actually love (laughs) Bethany what songs do you think I have I feel like I've seen you on two occasions do crystal ball by (laughs) sticks I like forgot two about that. Karaoke <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with that song. It's so good. You guys know Crystal Ball by Styx? Crystal Ball, somebody <laughs> help me out of here. It's just like, <laughs> it's so, um, I don't know. Which don't, album is he? Yeah. I, it's on one of those Styx albums those I've Sticks never Sticks heard. That you don't have? Sticks greatest hits. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, I Bethany, love it. what I'd really like to do is with you is do the Pina Colada song one night on this oh. tour. <laughs> Would you do that? Rupert Holmes, would you do that with me? Uh, sure. Okay, like thanks. <laughs> in the rain. I do Darling Nikki by Prince is mine. Oh, that's, that's a, a good one. one. I did um, Brandy with um, Richard Buckner once. You said, oh, said Brandy. In, in Atlanta. Like and I had to, all I had to do was go, <laughs> you're a fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> a fine girl. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that's one of those songs, I think we had a band in here earlier this year covering it, and they were like, yeah, some of the lyrics are like not great for 27. I can't remember what it oh, was. Oh yeah, these songs don't hold oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> that happens all the time, actually. Oh yeah, especially with all like rock songs. And especially like, yeah. right in the middle of you doing karaoke or something, where you're like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> I was just listening to the what's that Velvet Underground song where it's like, you're just too young. Come up the years, right? <laughs> it's like he's basically like, songs. get older <laughs> so I can screw you. And I was like, nope. Get older. <laughs> Young girl, get out of my life. My love for you is way out of line. Guys, we can't clear this. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm just kidding. It's okay. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Goodbye. Very welcome.